Welcome to my iconic five power chord lesson and we're going to try and do four songs using one chord shape yeah and the chord shape I'm talking about is this two string chord shape so we're not going to deal with uh, the bottom three thin strings so we're not going to even play those yeah we're going to mute them so the strings that we are going to be playing are the ones that we press using our index finger that's going to be the root or the name or the tonic of the chord yeah so if i put my root finger on the fifth fret i know that's an a note because if you know your string note names e f g a a is on the fifth fret yeah and all I need is to add another string, the A string next to that, with my ring finger. So these two fingers, and it's two frets away from your tonic on the next string, and you've got your iconic five chord. And incidentally, that is an A power chord, yeah, or iconic five chord. Uh, the word iconic five I made up but five is from the scale so this is the fifth that note there that you're adding with your ring finger so if you think about your major scale one two three four five and that's why it's the iconic five chord yeah so that's an A so let's go through and start with sweet child of mine we're going to start on the D of the A string. So this chord you can use safely on either the E string start or the A string start, which is underneath. Yeah. So this is a D. Why is that a D? Because if you remember, here's your C chord. Yeah. C, D. The C and D are not best friends, so there's a whole fret in between them. So there's D, yeah. So sweet child of mine, fifth fret D. She's got a smile that seems to me reminds me of childhood memory. Yeah. To the C, yeah, and then to the G. So that's what you would be playing during the verses, D, C, and G. She's got a smile that seems to me, reminds me of childhood memories. If I stare too long, I'll probably break down and cry. Again, Switch Out of Mine is tuned flat, E flat, by Guns N' Roses. We're tuned to standard. So when you play this with Guns N' Roses, it's not going to say in the sound. Oh, sorry sound the same so you would have to play flat so you'd have to play from here four fret to actually suit with uh, guns and roses but just for us to play things easier with other people keep the guitar in standard learn the song in standard so Verses for Switch Out of Mind. She's got a smile that seems to me. Fifth fret to third fret C. Mind your childhood memory if I stare too long. I'll probably break down and cry. So you play that for all the verses. Now the chorus, same shape. Yeah, we haven't changed chord shape, we just changed frets. The chorus is going to go to the A power chord. So the A is on the fifth fret there, and the ring finger on your. Here's your A. Whoa, whoa, whoa. To the C, you just learned. Sweet child of mine. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Sweet child of mine. Notice how I'm not hitting the bottom strings, I'm just hitting the two strings in the iconic five chord. So that's Sweet Child of Mine. Let's move to Seven Nation Army for our second song. We're going to start on the seventh fret. So Seven Nation Army, seventh fret. 
That's my tonic. This is an E because there's your D on the fifth we just started on. So, so uh, seven nation army started on the seventh fret. E, D, E, yeah. So, and it's uh, four strums to start off with. So there's four. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So I'm going from the E to the G chord. Same shape, same iconic five shape. I'm just moving the tonic from the E to the G. So if you know that E, F, and G, yeah, E and F are next to each other, G is a whole fret away. You should be on the 12th fret with your fifth note there. There's your G. So, uh, Seven Nation Army. You want four strokes there. And then go to your E string. 10th fret is your tonic. There's your D. Yeah. And then go to your 8th uh, fret. C, B. C and B are next to each other. C, B. Yeah. So the whole thing. Four, five, six, seven. Ah, Seven Nation Army has seven strums. strokes to get it clean and I'm not hitting any strings down the bottom so seven strums starting on your E tonic of the A string to the G back to the E and then to the D on your E string C B E E G E D C Seven Nation using the same shape. We haven't changed shape. The third part. One, two, three. This is the G. Same shape, same shape. We haven't changed. Do that for eight and then go to the fifth, which is your A chord. And you got the whole song. Seven Nation Army. Let's do that again. going too fast go down to the bottom there to the settings and slow it down yeah seven fret then the third part eight eight then you start again incidentally that last chord on the third part so you start again your finger is already on the E from this A chord so move that tonic to the E there okay next song we are going to do Believer by Imagine Dragons I'm going to start on this A on the fifth fret of the E string I'm going to play for eight one two three four five six seven eight yeah and then I'm going to go to the F, yeah, because E, F. So I'm going to play the F power chord. Do that for four, and then E. So A. So four Fs, four E's. This E here, I'm really just hitting the thick E and the second fret, which is a B of the A string. And I'm stopping the strings from ringing. See that? I put the pick back on when I strum. So, first things first, I'm saying all the words inside my head. I'm fighting, tired of the way the things are.
unchanged shape. We're still using that two finger rock chord, yeah? Power chord, iconic five chord. And the last song we are going to do is, uh, let me bring it up. Uh, Joker and the Thief. So this is gonna be quite a challenging one. So you got the start, we're gonna start on the D. So we're going off from this. When the drums come in for Joker and the Thief, your first chord is da, which is a D. Fifth fret of the A string. It's only two strings. One, two. Yeah. Make sure you're on two different strings, two fingers. Don't play any other strings. Don't play the thick string when you're on the D. Yeah. So, Joker and the Thief. C. C is there. Yeah. Do that twice. And then you can go to the F. So this is C, this is D, this is E, this is F. F is next to E. And then the G is not F's best friend, so jump a whole fret. When you play the G, your ring finger is on the 12th fret with the two dots. That's the, the 12th fret. That's how you know you're playing the right G chord. So the whole thing again. drop D but I'm showing you this on the fifth fret here so you can play it here it's a bit harder to do that slide but you can do it I'm just sliding to the C back to the D F F F then G Incidentally, for the part where he's going, you're playing those chords. D, D. Then C. Back to D. To the F. G. so forth so i hope you enjoyed that four iconic songs using one chord shape moving around you need to learn the names of your e string and your a string for this to work come back and i'll do four more iconic rock songs using this iconic power chord i use my pinky because it's more rock and roll Look. see clearer and if you've got smaller hands use your pinky if you've got large hands use your index and your ring have fun write a song